where we tasted a whole range of um, lovely Brunello de Montalcino's, Rosso de Montalcino. <laughs> Hi, my name is Ying. I'm from Singapore. I'm a speaker, educator, and I write about wine. I've just completed a fantastic journey with a whole load of other um, journalists from Asia through the region of Montalcino, where we tasted a whole range of um, lovely Brunello de Montalcino's, Rosso de Montalcino. We also tasted some other wines from the region, which are less well known internationally, but were traditional, such as Moscatello de Montalcino. Uh, it was a fantastic vintage, uh, fantastic trip here in uh, Montalcino. Got to really understand a little bit more about the differences between the different types of producers, the different approaches they had to making wine here. So that was really quite um, instructive, very educational uh, for all of us, uh, learning a little bit more about Montalcino. But by and large, we were as a group quite pleasantly surprised at what a good job was done by many of these producers in producing some very, very drinkable, perhaps easy, perhaps very um, simpler in style, but very well made, very juicy, attractive young Rosso de Montalcino.